Well, hello and welcome to Flulai Day 8. My favorite mother is with me. She's driving. <laughs> Gotta keep both eyes on the road. Yeah. We're currently in downtown, I think we're leaving downtown Minneapolis yes. right now. Um, we're heading to the airport. Scenery. Yeah, we're heading to the airport to get my mom's sister, her favorite sister, her only sister, Marlene. And then we're gonna head off to the Dragon House for some deliciousness. It's the last day of operation at the Dragon House, which is sad. But something exciting happened today. Um, this morning on the Dragon House Facebook page, Pete, the owner, had posted a picture and said like, we didn't realize that the Dragon House, well actually, hold on, let me read it like verbatim because this is important. Okay, so it was actually a comment that he wrote and he says, one of the last pics of the crew working hard tonight. Here's the picture. So sad. Um, one of the last pics of the crew working hard tonight. Everyone worked extra hard. Many diehard customers were waiting before we opened up. The crowd did not let up until we closed. Never realized that Dragon House made such an impact on the lives of our customers. You never know, with this, with so much love and support from this awesome community, we, we may do something in a smaller scale. Happy face emoji. Uh, so, maybe, someday, they'll do something different. Um, still Dragon House, but something different. Because they did not sell the business, they just sold the building. So the business is still a business. Um, and they can own and operate their business however the heck they want. So, yeah, but that's kind of cool. I'll have to pick Pete's brain about that later. Mm -hmm. But that was exciting. So one of the things that our family has done and the Dragon House has been a part of our life from, well, the beginning? From the beginning, yes. Because didn't and, you and Dad go there before you were married? Uh, no. Oh, right when you got married. Yeah, as soon as we got married, oh. we started going there. Um, but we've had birthday parties there. We've had graduation celebrations there. We've had funerals there. We've had family gatherings. We've had reunions there. We've, I mean, it's the whole gamut of everything with our family from out of town, out of state. Um, it's been, it's been part of our lives from the beginning of our marriage. And we've been married for 40, uh, 43 years, something like that. Uh, it's been a long time. Um, but it's, it's always been there. Um, it started off very, very small, and we continue to go there. Uh, my husband was good friends with um, Pete, who was just a kid at the time. Um, met him when he was in middle school, and uh, Rowland was a, a police officer in Columbia Heights. So he got to know the family and just knew it was a good place to eat, and we just kept staying with it because we loved the food and loved loved everything that they that they did and they were just a they say part of the community and part of our family but at least this guy won't let me in no no because minneapolis is full of assholes i guess so no no they're just gonna be no. dicks you can just keep going and then I'll just, just come up there I'll get to the airport eventually here. Yep. But yeah, that's a, a brief history of the Dragon House for you guys. So yeah, kinda kinda crazy, kinda nuts. That uh, you know, had lots of uh birthdays and stuff, like even when my, my brother and I were little. So I'm born on January 9, Phil is born on January 15, and we would have our collective birthdays together when we were quite small, and we would always do them at Dragon House, and all the grandparents would come, all the aunts and uncles and the cousins, and just everybody would come, and it was so much easier doing it at a restaurant than doing it, I'm sure, in their home. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we could make a mess there but everybody loved the food, so it actually worked out really great. And then, you know, mom wasn't like slaving away over food that not everyone's gonna eat or, you know, whatever. So it's just, it's, it's, it was easy. Um, so I've got lots and lots of photos from that. Um, if I was completely unpacked, 
I would show you some photos, but I don't. So maybe someday I will show you some photos. Like I'll do something on Instagram or something like that later on down the road. But yeah, it's been a cool place to kind of have in our family and share with others. So we've gotten a lot of other people hooked on it too. So sorry, not sorry. All right, well now we're hitting some traffic, so I'm gonna put the camera away, but we are heading to the airport and I'll see you in a moment. So this is my Aunt Marlene. Hi. <laughs> so she, she has decided to eat this spicy mustard and look at her plate. I'm very curious if you're just your nostrils just start on fire. So we're gonna see. Do you wanna eat it and then report back? I will eat it. Take okay. a bite. I'm so curious. Yep, yeah. Because she put a ton of it on her plate. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. It's spicy. <laughs> right? I it is. You. I know. But is it good spicy or it is, is it? It is good spicy. Okay. I can feel it. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a, just a touch. It is. <laughs> Need a new plate? <laughs> no, no, no. It is, I mean, it this is, stuff is no joke, you guys. Like, this spicy mustard here is no freaking joke. This makes you feel alive. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Yikes. Well, anyways, um, we got a spring roll. So here is mild pieces I'm gonna have. But this is, this is where it's at. This is where it's at. The sweet and sour, mm-hmm. This is where it's at. Um, once the food comes, I will show you guys the food. All right, so the food just came. I got something really different. I ended up getting the beef and broccoli. Of course, my rice is separated. Uh, my aunt ended up getting, what was this, the combination lo mein? Combination lo mein. Which means that there's like all the proteins and meats in there. Yes, and shrimp. Yes, I see the shrimp. And her rice is separated too. And yeah. mom, what did you get? Shrimp fried rice. What? Not usually what I get, but I do love it here. Yes, it's delicious. I think I'm gonna get shrimp fried rice later. <laughs> so Emily's still eating over here. <clears throat> She's eating her broccoli. Go ahead, keep eating your trees. Are those like the biggest? Yeah, I call them trees. But this is really big and it's difficult to eat. I need a knife, but I'm trying. She doesn't have a knife, uh -uh. so she's got she's got to eat it this way. So we're putting it out on the on the internet on the blue lie, mm -hmm. so that everybody can see how awkward this is for her. No, oh. but and I also have like really bad jaw problems, so it's like not helpful with this. Mm. Hmm. Chopsticks. I know. <laughs> But she's saving the little broccoli people by eating all her broccoli. She's doing a good job. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got home and my YouTube video from yesterday that I started uploading at like 10 o'clock this morning still hasn't loaded and it's four o'clock. So yeah. Um, while I was getting ready this morning, there was like a little flicker with the lights and stuff. So I think what happened is my internet didn't like reset itself. So this is now the third time I'm gonna try to load this freaking video for you guys. When there's technical issues, it just kind of drives me crazy. <laughs> Where it's like, come on, just load. I want, I want to load. So we're gonna try this again. <laughs> My goodness gracious. All right, so I'm gonna do this. I have it loading finally again. I had to completely power down and then I powered down my internet as well and restarted everything again. So hopefully this will be good. Um, I copied my description, so I'm just gonna load my description, take the puppy on a walk and then I'll come back. Right now it's saying one hour and 19 minutes. So hopefully it'll be less than that when I get back. Fingers crossed. All right, just completed the walk and I came back and it's at 22% and it says 57 minutes. So it is going down, which is good. Oh, technical difficulties are so frustrating, but I got a package. I actually got two packages, but one of them I'm opening later because I know what it is. This, I have no idea what it is. So give me a second, let's open it together. Look what I got. I got an apron, look, 
<laughs> I'm so fancy. Ta-da! <laughs> it has like a little bit of silver in there with um, like an oatmeal in gray color, which that was really pretty. I actually got this at Bed Bath & Beyond, but the um, like return address label was not Bed Bath & Beyond. So let me show you what it looks like. Ooh, do, 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 do. And then it's got like a couple of pockets here, which I kind of liked. So um, I ordered a couple of other things from Bed Bath & Beyond, but that did not come in the shipment. So I'm keeping this though. This is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. I did get another package, but save it for later. Do you guys even know what's in here? Do you? Some of you might. Okay, so finally the freaking video is up. I had like a day of technical difficulties. So um, I'm gonna end the vlog here, but we need to go see the Doyle dog. Dun, 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 let's go see the Doyle dog. Oh my gosh, I really hope that tomorrow I do not have the same problems. So anyway, let's take a look. Oh, also wanted to show you what I did last night, I posted a picture on Instagram, but I figured I'd have to show you guys. Let's put this on too. <gasps> All right, I organized the laundry room. So really the only thing I did was I took some of the bins that I had and put things in bins. Nothing that exciting, but I think I might do like a dedicated video on what's in what bin and why I organized it the way I did, but I just wanted to show you a quick overview. If you don't see me on Instagram or Facebook, laundry's all done. I got that all handled last night. There we goes. I was gonna do my makeup vanity and bathroom and stuff today, but I've just been like dealing with the uh, issues at hand with the freaking internet, so yikes. Ooh, that's a good look. But look at this dog. Do you guys see this dog? I mean, you got like a really tough life, bud. Look at this. Look at this dog. Hi, buddy. This is our life, dude. <laughs> oh, doodle. But anyway, I think I'm gonna say goodbye. So is Doyle. You gonna say goodbye, Doyle? Oh my goodness. His life is so hard. But yeah, I think I'm gonna say goodbye for the night. I have some stuff to do. I need to like edit some videos and stuff. And then I think tomorrow is when I'm gonna be doing my plan with me. I already have my Wednesday video filmed, but I need to edit and upload it. And then Friday's video, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm sure Doyle will help me. Yeah, right, he doesn't help with anything. Do you, buddy? Nope, he doesn't. That's it for Vlulai, day eight. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure to share it, subscribe, do all those things those YouTubers say to do. And come back tomorrow for more. There will be a playlist down below for um, Vlulai as well as Vloon if you want to start from like the very beginning. Doyle dog. Anyway, so I am in a jet for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Say bye, Doyle. You gonna say goodbye to your friends? You gonna? Nope. All right, that's it from us. See you later.